For modern twist on duck a la ranch, try the star anise and orange Barbary duck breast. So to start off with, we're going to take our two gorgeous juicy duck breasts. I've trimmed the excess fat from around the outside and scored a diamond shaped pattern into the fat. So you're going to plop these two onto a pan, cold pan and then switch it up to medium heat and what will happen is gradually the fat will render out or melt out of the thick layer of fat on top of the duck breast and you're going to be left with a nice thin crispy layer. And after that we're going to make up our sauce using oranges, thyme, star anise, red wine and a bit of beef stock. As you can see if you look closely, if the fat is melting out of the duck into the pan and this takes quite a few minutes, so just be patient. You can check the side of the fat to make sure there's no white, white that's left, and that means it's reduced, reduced quite, down quite considerably. As you can see, a lot of fat has render, rendered out now, so now it's time to turn up the heat. We're cooking on a medium heat so far, and flip it over to the other side. This will seal the meat and help it start cooking through. So we add a tiny little nub of butter, it might seem crazy because we've got all that lovely duck fat in there already. But we're going to add some aromatics to our pan of duck. So first a couple of twigs of thyme. So just bruise them roughly between your hands into the pan. And this gorgeous spice, reminiscent of the Far East, which is called star anise. You can see the shape of it, hence the name. So a couple of cloves of star anise. Move these around in the pan to add some extra flavour. So you're going to cook the duck on the fleshy side for about three minutes and then we're going to transfer it to a baking tray and into a hot oven. Duck should ideally be served medium rare, so quite pink still in the middle, but if you'd like it cooked completely through, that takes about 10 to 12 minutes in the oven. Make sure that it's well sealed. Transfer these to your pan. Turn your pan back down because we're now going to make our sauce. So into the oven these guys go. And I'm going to pop them in for about 8 minutes because I don't want my duck too well done. So in the same pan that you cook the duck, we have some lovely duck fat with the flavour of the star anise and then of course the thyme. So we're going to start off by softening our shallots. These, this is just one finely chopped shallot, very good base, nice savoury base for a sauce. And you want to make sure you lift up all that flavour from the bottom of the pan. In a minute we'll add a good splash of red wine and that will help deglaze the pan. Deglazing is simply using a liquid to lift up all the sticky goodness from the bottom of a pan that's been roasting meat. So a good slug of red wine. And you just want to cook off the alcohol, let it bubble up. And to this you add demerara sugar, which is really thick, sticky, dark sugar. So that's going to give a wonderful, rich caramel flavour to the sauce. So let that bubble up for a minute. In goes our beef stock, so very good quality beef stock. Got a cup of beef stock and then our orange segments. And this sauce is going to poach together for about 15 minutes until the sauce is thick and syrupy and reduced down by half. Our orange sauce has been bubbling away nicely and it's reduced down and it's gorgeous and glassy. It's time to take our duck out of the oven. So using a pair of tongs, lift your duck out of the tray after it's been resting. Hold it firmly and slice it on the diagonal. You can either slice into three pieces or just in half. And that's lovely and moist and tender. I've just steamed some broccoli and some baby carrots. Perfect accompaniment to our gorgeous orange and red wine sauce. Bring it over to the sauce and 
teaspoon of generous quantity of your orange sauce over. That smells gorgeous. You can really get the smell of the citrus and the star anise there. And this, of course, will grow really well with the baby carrots. And there we go, our modern twist on duck a l'orange.